politics TV up in this beach. When we get on live streams, niggas, cause I wanted to get high, high, high. get it high today, nigga. I ain't even lying to you, gay. <laughs> What's up, gang? Welcome back to Trenches Politics TV. Let's get it. A pop-up party that leads to a fatal shooting of a girl 17 years old and four other teens injured. A party in the Fairmount Park Strawberry Mansion section turned deadly as shots rang out into the warm night, striking five juveniles and leaving one dead. Police say the night began with a pop-up party near 29th and Ridge and that a gathering was broken up by police just before 11 p.m. Allegedly, a large group of kids and young adults, about 100 in total, moved from that location to near North 33rd Street in Fairmount Park. And it was around that time that officials said that the police still nearby heard gunshots coming from the park. Five kids, three boys, and two girls were in a mix of gunfire. One of those teens were a 17 year old girl that was killed in the mix of the gunfire. Three of the juveniles were rushed to Temple University Hospital by either police or medics, while the other two walked into the hospital. The girl died shortly after arriving around 11.15. The other victims ranging in age from 14 to 18 were all listed as stable condition according to officials. Philadelphia Police Inspector D.F. Pace stated the crime scene was very large and no motive for the violence was immediately known. And investigators found at least 11 spent shell cases at the scene. And this investigation is still active. Party in Fairmount Park turned deadly last night as a mass shooting erupts, leaving a teenage girl Did dead. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jennifer Lee. Four other teenagers were injured and Philadelphia police are asking for your help to find a shooter. Our Ellen Koloje has the very latest. It all started here at 33rd and Ridge Avenue just hours after the Philadelphia school district let out for summer break. Police say a big group of kids started partying out here and that's when the trouble began. <laughs> when you see a pack of people like that, you know something gonna happen. And then I see them all fighting like it was a riot. They just all started fighting each other right here on this corner. Denial Worthy took this video of fighting that started Friday night in the Strawberry Mansion section of the city and said she was terrified for her and her five-year-old son. And then after that, the little boy ran down. Then he ran back. They jumped him and his little sister. His little sister had to be like seven. I was like, are y'all serious? And I was going to interfere, but it's just me and myself. 30 kids out here jumping this one little boy. I was like, wow. That garners our attention because we want to uh, both protect the community and protect uh, these kids from themselves. Police say they knew there would be trouble with more than 100 kids in that area, so they were ready. While police were even on location, they heard gunshots and immediately communicated to fellow officers that they heard gunshots coming from Fairmount Park. That's when officers say they found two people shot in the park and took them to Temple University Hospital. A 17-year-old young woman shot in the chest was pronounced dead at the hospital, and an 18-year-old woman shot in the leg was in stable condition. Two 15-year-old boys, both shot in the leg, arrived at the hospital by car and are in stable condition. A fifth victim, a 14-year-old boy, was shot in the stomach and is in stable condition. It's real bad here. And just the fact that I have a five year old, I was, think, like, I was thinking about that when the little boys were on the street. I'm like, that was my son. I don't want to prison. I was almost scared myself because, you know, nowadays these teenagers is wild when they don't care who you is. They want to beat you up, take your stuff. Neighbors say they want change and want officials to get more of the guns off the street. So they don't get in kids' hands and kids are getting killed. And, I mean, it's senseless. It's senseless. It's sad. So neighbors in the surrounding area say they are worried that more of these pop up parties will continue now that school's out and they anticipate even more of this kind of violence. In Strawberry Mansion, Ellen Coloje, Fox 29 News. I go. was in the trenches. Yeah. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe.